Hello, it's Hila Loves Fragrances here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions review of Jennifer Lopez Still, which is a perfume that I decided to order after I'd been looking at it for about two to three weeks, I think. Um, and it's the first perfume that I've actually bought in well over four months. So I'm very impressed with myself for the restraint that I had. But in the end, I decided to get this one because when I started off with the perfumes, I bought a lot of uh, winter cold weather perfumes and they they make up something like 95% of the perfumes um, that I have. But now we're in spring and we're in summer. Most of those I can't even you know begin to use them. And I've got maybe one or two that I have been using consistently, like the Paris Hilton one. And I've also been using uh, Viva La Juicy, the original one. But I just wanted a little bit more variety because there have been some days where I just haven't felt like wearing the Viva, just wanting something different. And so I started looking at some uh, summer perfumes and I particularly wanted something with a freesia note because I love freesias. I've got some freesias in my garden. I cut them and I put them um, as a flower, a cut flower in the house because they throw out the most beautiful fragrance. And to me, freesia smells like the closest, my kids call it a frozen mango ice cream smell. It just is such a beautiful smell. So this was one um, option that had freesia as a middle note. I didn't want the freesia in the top note because then it just sort of like goes, but I thought that I'd have a good chance with it in the middle note. And so as I did, when I went onto Fragrantica and I was reading the reviews on Fragrantica, it seems to have a uh, good review. So what I do on Fragrantica, <laughs> I tend to read the reviews of the people who like the perfume and they talk a lot more about that because I think perfume is so subjective that if you don't like it, you don't like it. And if I'm looking at buying a perfume, it's because I want to like the perfume. So I'm going to read the reviews of the people that actually liked it and see what they have to say about it. So a lot of the things that uh, people who liked it were saying really got me. So a lot of people were saying that it smells like a fresh cup of green tea and i like herbal teas so i was like you know what i'm gonna get it and so i ordered it off of ebay but here we go <laughs> just gonna open it now so the postage was really good um there's no sample so it comes in a really nice minimalistic box over here nude color so i'm expecting something very calm it looks like a very calm sort of thing so i'm just gonna open this i didn't put on any perfume today uh because i was expecting to get this i got an email through telling me that it would be delivered today so i thought best be prepared for when it comes because that's one thing that i'm trying to do now when i receive the perfume i will immediately start wearing it because i had got myself into a habit of receiving the perfume just testing it but then saying oh, i'll wear it on another day but now i try and you know use it <laughs> straight away so that i can get the real full impression of what it is um so what i will do is during the rest of the day i will record my thoughts as i go um along it's my second jennifer lopez purchase the first one is live uh which i got because it was designed by dominic ropion i think and it's okay it's not it's not something that I reach for consistently, but here we go. It's a lovely bottle, so very elegant, very still and everything. So let's go. So the top notes for this, it's uh, Earl Grey tea, white pepper, mandarin orange, apple and rice. The middle notes are supposed to be jasmine, lily of the valley, freesia, honeysuckle, rose and orange blossom. The base notes are pepper, musk, iris, sandalwood, and amber. But right off, what I'm getting on here is very much the tea. So it's very much reminding me of Elizabeth Arden green tea. Mm. Okay, it's so just going to try it. Okay. All right. Oh. So very, I'm getting the tea. Uh, it's got a, just gonna put that on there. 
So quite light, fruity, fresh. I feel like if I smelled this on the counter of a perfume, you know, in a shop and you got that initial spritz spray, I would definitely be interested in this. It's got a great initial appeal. So it's very light, but definitely that green tea, Elizabeth Arden green tea vibe is quite strong. Oh, that was so much. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to let that settle for a bit and I will report very soon about how I get on um, with it separately. The bottle has got this really nice geometric -y prism on one side. On the other side, it's sort of nice and flat, but on the, it's a really great bottle design. I really like the design of this bottle. Mm. Right, it's been about 10 minutes since I popped this on and I'm still not yet getting the freezier note, which is what <laughs> I'm hoping to find. But we've settled down to a bit more musky, earthier, but a light musk, a light earthiness. The green tea is not quite as popping anymore. It's very... The green tea is slipping away now in favor of the musk coming through, but we'll see. We'll see what it smells like in half an hour. <laughs> Hello. So it's uh, been about six hours or so now. Um, and it's evolved to this really on the skin. It's got like a really nice, very light muskiness to it with a little bit of the warmth of amber, but still very light and occasionally very occasionally i'm getting like a um a waft of the green tea which is really quite strange because most of the time i'm not getting it and then out of nowhere i'll just get a whoo and it's like ha oh, the green tea so very very similar to elizabeth arden green tea but i think that this stays on much longer than uh, the elizabeth arden green tea which on me when i tried the green tea no more than two not even two hours, I think even an hour, it was completely gone. And to say that we've been six hours into this and I can still catch some whiffs of it, it doesn't have a particularly great um, projection or sillage, but that's not what I was looking for. It, I just want something that smells and makes me feel fresh and light. My husband says he likes it because um, it's probably got, I don't know, on me it was probably about more arm's length, that's what, about a meter yeah so about a meter or a yard um in terms of projections when he could pick it up but he thought that it was a very lovely and refreshing uh scent certainly very energizing but in a you know sort of like more like versus <coughs> if that makes sense but yeah i'm i'm really happy uh with this uh purchase very very impressed with uh what i got out of it i definitely like this a lot more than the other j-lo live uh one that i have i feel like this is a lot more me a lot more what i was looking for so very light quite refreshing incredibly inoffensive and almost impossible to overspray because of how light and effusive it is so I'm just getting dinner ready now, but I just wanted to very quickly say that I haven't got the freezier note from this perfume today. And that's a bit of a shame because that's what I really wanted from it. But I still like it, even though it doesn't have that freezier note. So not quite the freezier note I was expecting for, but I'm getting a green tea that actually lasts a uh, you know, a decent amount of time on my skin for the price. And that makes me a very happy bunny. So that's my review of Jennifer Lopez. Still really, really like it. We'll definitely be wearing this, alternating it with Paris Hilton and Viva La Juicy. Um, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found the review, the first impressions, the unboxing, um, informative, entertaining. And if you did, do hit the big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. I just talk about the perfumes that I have and I tend mainly towards the more uh, budget, affordable perfumes. Uh, so if that's your jam, <laughs> subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.
बाय